step one. Let's create a project in Localize from which we'll be connecting to uh, from the design plugin. So first step is navigate to localize.com. You'll find the login bottom at the top right. Once we've completed all the steps here, you can just press on create a new project, the new project button. We'll call it design stage localization. We can give it a short description. So project to store strings from our design. Then we'll select the base language. Good practice is to stick to the English. If you prefer to have uh, four letter ISO codes, you can do that as well, or US if that's your preferred one. I'll just stick to English for now, and we'll press proceed. At this point, I like to set up some target languages already. So let's say German is a great language uh, to test in your design as it expands considerably from English. And why not Russian? Different fonts, Cyrillic alphabet. Let's see how this renders in our design later on. I'll press add here. And I'll go into the project settings right here and activate custom translation statuses. So just scroll down so you find the settings for quality assurance. And here we have custom translation statuses. So this is a custom value that you can add to either filters through custom statuses or notify stakeholders that has been updated from a specific source or that a specific action has taken place on that string. Uh, green is fine. I'll select machine translated, for example. That will be one status. And I'll set up a second status. So create it from Figma, for example, and the third one updated from Figma, just as an example. You'll see the use case uh, in the following videos. I'll just press save on this. And now I can, I will want to navigate into the automations. I don't want to spend my time translating. I'm not a translator. Uh, however, do pay attention as this is a great feature to set up a sandbox project for designers to connect into. The moment they've pushed in their uh, base value strings, so English strings, they can have machine translated values to pull back uh, immediately. And so from English, I want machine translated values for Russian and German. And do, do note here that we can apply a translation memory if we had a qualified translation memory. This means that if anything has been translated in the past, this is stored in localized, and you can already apply uh, the already translated values immediately. Uh, I'm not a translator, so I'll be selecting use machine translations from here. And I'll set the custom translation status I just created to machine translated. And we'll be showing you the result of this. Uh, of the combination of features in the following videos.